Hello guys, in today's video we are going to be modeling a simple jug in Autodesk Maya 2018. So I have a model of a jug with me right now, so I'm going to look at it and try to model it as closely as possible, but still you can model any jug you want and so be creative and don't take any pressure, okay? So this video is basically um, aimed for a beginner, but still if you are an intermediate user you can still um, grab a little tidbit from here and there so without further ado let's get started okay so the basic shape of a jug is a cylinder so we're going to start by creating a simple cylinder we can go ahead and create polygon primitives and cylinder to frame in we have to press F so let's uh, move that jug a little bit upwards and from the side view we can do something like um, you know putting the pivot on the bottom but before that let's see on the attribute editor what we can change so we can go sorry into channel box and input polycylinder so let's see so we we need around maybe 16 because we are going to smooth the jug so i think 16 should be fine 16 subdivision and since okay so height we probably don't need for now and on the cap we don't need anything so we can probably go ahead and delete right click and hit face you can hit your tab key and press so that it selects left click you can delete it it's gone in the bottom it's still there so now let's go ahead and um, I, I hit space to go to different views if you're wondering so now let's go ahead and place our pivot in the bottom so that we can scale accordingly upwards so Q to go to object mode so and now hit D hold down D um, sorry now you need to hit either W or E or R some um, a transform tools to activate your pivot um, you know movement mode so hit hold down D and you can align by middle clicking here first you need to click here wiggle here and middle click anywhere or a left click you can you can see that the pivot has centered or uh, yeah that way now it's quite different so let's reset it W see now it moves from the bottom when you scale it scales from the bottom right so hit D you can move that way so hit V and you can align here it's now in the middle okay so still it's not in the middle hit V and align here now it's in the middle okay there we go now hit W and hit X to snap to your grid so you can see here it snaps to the grid okay now we are exactly in the middle there we go okay so the jug is little taller so hit right click and vertex W to move up so I guess this should be fine okay and the, this jug we want a little bit of lip on the top so what we can do is add an edge loop so for that matter go to mesh tools insert edge loop and we can add an edge loop right here and right click in the face mode now Q to select right shift double select on its adjacent edge oh, sorry face and double click we we'll select the whole edge loop now we can extrude by control E or we can go ahead and press this button extrude and we can pull this outwards so we have a little lip there and for the bottom let's add an edge loop or bevel it okay so right click into edge mode and double click this it will select the whole edge loop 
now go into mesh tools and I'm sorry it's in edit mesh and bevel my bevel that my my fraction is 0.03 and it's division 2 let's make it 3 for now looks fine and let's see our smooth mesh preview by hitting button 3 um, let's look anyway guys if these uh, button if these windows are distracting you you can hold down space and you know bring your mouse to the right uh, right space and click you can um, hide range slider which we do not need while modeling and also time slider also command line now we have a huge space and this looks good so let's add some edge loop so tighten it a little bit you can see it's not as tight as we would like it to be so mesh tool sorry um, yeah, mesh tool insert edge loop tool you can put something right here we don't want it to be very tight just a little tight would be fine so putting it one right here should get the job done let's see yeah, it looks fine and for the bottom part it looks good with that bevel on and now let's go ahead and create the handle before we create the top part I'm going to teach you a simple way of creating handle what we're going to do is we're going to into our front view and the general convention is starting your mess um, facing the Z direction so you are looking at the mess heading um, the opposite Z okay so you can see right here the axis um, so on, on the screen here okay I space into front view this is our front view now let's create a handle okay so there, there are many ways to creating it you can you know add a cube and extrude or any other way but we are going to be using some other technique which is creating curves so create curve tools CV curve tool if you if you're using curves for the first time don't worry this is very going to be very easy so let's create some um, arbitrary you know points and let's we can edit it later on so you don't have to be rigid on where to place it but still think about um, uh, when you are putting curves you might need more um, these control vertices then then when you're creating straight lines but still don't worry about them at all for now hit enter um, this looks pretty fine but still if you want to edit it right click and hold and control vertex is still there and you can edit it um, so this looks great I'm enjoying it a lot guys and let's see it was way better before now you can click here and middle mouse anywhere here since this um, this red axis is selected so when you middle click right here it will only uh, move this um, this direction so if you click in the middle it will deselect now you can freely move anywhere a little tip right there and this guy also mm. hmm. it looks a bit a bit messed up here now still no problem okay so I think it looks good I hit enter sorry Q and go into object mode now what we want to do is we want to um, extrude a face or an edge since um, edge does not seem good right now we're gonna extrude a face so we can do something like this we can create a um, polygon cube and we can move it right here R to scale it and it's going to be pretty much flat and let's let's place it you can go ahead and hit this button to show x-ray mode so let's place it somewhere here 
and let's grab its vertices oh, what's happening okay let's grab its vertices and move it a little bit this way sticking out a bit now what we can do really cool thing is hold on face okay so when we select face sip select the curve and what we can do is extrude okay but we can go into settings um, edit mess and extrude we can go into its setting by clicking on the box right here and let's bump the division although we can do it later on as well let's add 10 division for now and uh, now curve settings is selected so we have already selected the curve um, we can also hit none or generate it don't worry about it and now hit only extrude okay you can see um, the geometry has been created if you want more divisions more smooth lines then you can bump this division up but still uh, we don't need it because we might um, smooth it anyway it's still fine so yeah I hit Q and it's over now still you can you know go into object mode click um, like drag and select so it selects both the curve even though it's hidden inside you can press 4 wireframe you see the curve is inside and control and select this mess so it only selects your curve now right click and control vertex I still have you still have the opportunity to manipulate the um, position of your um, curve curves curve points and you can um, change the shape of your mess because your history is still um, saved but what if you delete the history it won't work after that so how do you delete the history you go into object mode click on mess edit delete by type and history now look at what happens um, let's see where the history is now look at what happens here okay so these are all history it deletes itself when we delete by type history gone now we cannot even if we manipulate the control vertices nothing's gonna happen see so what is its use go ahead and delete this curve as well um, if we don't need it anymore it looks great I want a little control right here it looks so flat so let's add an edge loop so I'm, I'm gonna teach you a uh, other method as well because the more we the more methods we know the easier it's gonna be go into the edge mode click on this edge so hit down control right click edge ring utility sorry sorry this is not the option as in utility right here to edge ring and split you can go ahead and watch it again if it was too fast now what happens it uh, what happens is it places the edge loop right in the middle so we could have done the insert edge loop tool as well but this is another method there are many methods to do the same thing so don't worry about it and I want to manipulate it a little bit go into your vertex mode and probably it's gonna be good from the side view hit W sorry this one is also selected I only need that one and we can also rotate it if we lose the volume we can rotate it if we lose the volume and right here as well yeah, it looks good you know so go into object mode and hit 3 let's see what happens okay so you lose a lot of volume we want it to be a little you know sharp so what we can do is we can add edge loop now let me show you another method yet you can go ahead and uh, hit this multi cut tool also you can go into mesh tools and multi cut you can now press control and hover around your mesh you can see the preview of where it's going to cut now hit a click the left mouse button and you see we have inserted an edge loop here as well and you can probably do right in the middle okay and let's see now there we go we have very um, sharp we don't need the um, you know the faces which is inside so let's go ahead and kill the faces which is inside 
um so you know going to face sorry i selected accidentally going to face so select these control and select these so we deselect them and delete now you see this is sharp okay now i'm going to object mode press 5 so this is our jug almost finished right now let's go ahead and um, create the upper part we can go ahead and create a hmm, let's see we can create a polygon cylinder that wouldn't be a problem hit w and from our front view we can go ahead and scale this a bit and place it accordingly vertices um, and pull them down even though I'm using more ver um, edges here it's not going to be a problem for us um, I, I just want a little bit of leap lip in there okay um, I can scale it a bit okay and let's see how it's looking great we have a little um, differentiation here which makes it pop up so we can uh, what we can do here is we can select faces we don't need the bottom part right so instead of uh, going here and selecting difficultly we can isolate this by pressing this button you can also hit shift plus i so it isolates it uh, so we are learning a lot i want to cover as much as possible so that you guys can come and watch this video and learn and you know recap many things okay as opposed to learning only one technique okay so hit down tab and again oops q and hit down tab okay why is it okay face we need to go into face sorry guys hit down tab and delete this so it'll look much better now we're hitting three to see smooth mesh preview now click 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 on this so we can see the whole object now what we want to do is click on tab and select all of these and control e to extrude and we want to offset it a bit so hit down control and left click so that we can see the differentiation and we don't need that much division so now let's decrease the division i might have to go ahead and change my settings in extrude okay so we don't need that much we need only one so what we can do is now we can again extrude it uh, one more time hit g to repeat the last command and um, click press on any of these scale manipulators and scale them up oh my god these are coming many times nope i don't want that hit one so let's um change the settings go into our extrude double clicking on extrude face options so we want only one division and save settings okay okay now again we need one more time extrusion so hit g r to scale sorry now hit g control e to extrude and scale that up okay now we have fixed the problem now we are going to manipulate with this okay so again control e to extrude and pull that up r to scale pull in scale them in and we can also go ahead and click on edge or we can go into face mode click on this face q shift double click shift double click and w we want it to be a little um bulged up and this one as well shift double click let it bulge up and you know what um we can go ahead and increase you know pull them up a little bit and we want a little bit of um how do i put it a little bit of depth in here so what i'm gonna do is add an insert edge loop but i want it the in the both direction so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use the offset edge loop tool so that i get an edge loop or two edge, edge loops in fact so this is what it it's happening the same thing and i let it go 
so I have two edge loop now it's not gonna make any sense even if I smooth right now but what's going to happen is see guys now going to our edge mode now we select the middle edge right so hit um, W or R and you can scale them in you scale them in and W move them down a little bit and as in supporting supportive edge loops so mesh tool it's gonna make sense when you see it insert edge loop right here and right here now go into object mode okay and hit 3 now you see what's ha what's happening right it gives us a little bit of fanciness there so this is not make any this is not making any distinction so we are going to add some edge loop right here so click on edge loop right there right there and let's um let's hit tab let's control e and extrude it a bit more so that we get this sort of feel and hit r and again mesh tool insert edge loop tool you can place it right here okay now hit three you can see our top okay so this is our mess jug and well I want a little bit of lip coming up because yeah that would be natural so it's still very easy what you're going to do is right click and vertex click on these vertices hit down four so you see other vertices are not selected accidentally so hit F to zoom in W to pull them upwards a little bit and and let's add an edge loop the both way here as well here as well and hit three um, that is good uh, this looks quite original okay now we can go ahead and shift or drag select them and we can do these three things center pivot delete the history and freeze transformation we can name them click here and when in, uh, double click on this channel and let's write the name dog underscore body and this is dog underscore handle and this is jug underscore cap okay now when we go into our windows outliner we can see our body handle and cap we want this to be a single si single object so what we can do is hold um, drag select them and mess combine now you can see a full mess okay so this is Name jug cap one you can rename it jug okay so this brings to the end of the video guys if you have any question regarding modeling techniques tips or if you're having any problem using any tools please let me know I'll cover um, some more videos on how to model certain things and as per your request, I'm going to go into these tools. There are many awesome tools right here. We can go into um, these connect crease and we can go into every tool and break them, down, break them down, make them very simple and easy to understand. If you haven't understood a whole lot in this video, please don't feel bogged down because this was very quite advanced for very, very beginners. So I understand how you feel, but still with practice, you're gonna watch more videos and you're gonna get better. But still, if you guys have some suggestion on how I should tackle uh, and make videos, please let me know. And don't forget to leave the like button down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys and have a good day.